Hey, look at that. I'm back. Hey guys, uh, it's Crafty Nessie here back with another video. I know it's been a while, but I'm going to try and get back on track. I've been busy with school and work, and I can't believe it's already been a year. Anyway, for my first video back, I wanted to do a tribute to Fruits Basket. It's my first manga I ever read and my favorite of all time, honestly, at least for shoujo at least. And I actually... Funimation actually recently announced that they are going to be making a reboot of the anime and I'm so excited about this because they kind of as much as the 2001 version was good they kind of took out some of the very important parts and they only did like 26 episodes and they didn't really do it justice and they changed some of the characters and I'm like mm, it's okay um it was good for a re the anime at the time especially the fact that they changed some of the plot but anyway um they're going to be doing a reboot of the anime and they're going to be using the whole manga and they're not just going to stick with 26 episodes and go um like to like book i think in the in the anime 2001 they only went to like book six or seven and then they changed some of the endings so it wasn't accurate to the manga but they're going to be doing a whole um the whole series and i'm so excited and i can't wait it's supposed to come out in the spring so i thought i would do pay tribute to my favorite manga ever in the first manga so the fruits basket and i decided to use watercolors and gouache now i'm still trying to get my hand at gouache i only recently picked it up and so i tried to toru was kind of my guinea pig as i was um trying to color her with all gouache which came in handy when it came to her dress because they had a plaid dress on hers as it is in the picture on your on the screen now yeah this is a picture i'm pretty much copying anyway it came in handy when i was doing her plaid but for the rest of the dress out her the rest of her i had a really hard time with it because like i forget that it's not gouache isn't to be treated like watercolors because gouache can be reactivated because it, even though it has that nice opaque acrylic kind of touch feel to it it easily kind of transition um it get re it reactivates after you get it wet again so i kept getting it wet and then i couldn't do layers the way i usually would and it didn't help that i'm used to using an aqua brush instead of regular brush and water um, when I'm painting with watercolors so it kind of just threw me off altogether as you can see right there I did the plaid and the gouache came in handy because I needed that opaqueness for her plaid but for the rest of her I was struggling with no like seriously especially with her hair and then yeah but the gouache does come in handy later not with only with just the plaid but with the um, the leaves that I drew over them because I forgot to put the leaves in um, so I ended up layering them later. So now I'm working on Yuki. I'm not gonna lie, Kyo was my favorite character from the beginning. Even though I was a total newbie when it came to anime, this was the first manga I ever read. It was back my freshman year, of, before my freshman year of high school. And Kyo was hands down my favorite character in the whole series. I think there's someone that followed, but I can't remember. Um, anyway, so for the rest of the characters after Toru, I decided to use watercolors. So that was totally in my medium. I'm totally used to using watercolors. Um, I could have waited a little bit longer between <laughs> layers, but that was just because I was being impatient and I was cut for time. And the fact that my, my phone was giving me a really, really hard time as I was transferring videos onto the computer and it was just, it was a pain. Especially the fact that I had like an hour long video and it just, I, I was done. I was so done by the end of the, um, this weekend. But here's Kyo. I'm coloring Kyo. I have to say Kyo's outfit didn't really match. I was a little confused, but maybe that's just his style. Especially since this is supposed to be young Kyo, like 15 year old Kyo? 14? 15? 15. <clears throat> Something like that because this is like first year at high school. And so he he didn't have the best sense of style so it looked like he's wearing like some adidas pants with a mismatched shirt so anyway i'm still also getting used to the whole idea of putting line art back over your artwork because i don't because mine will my line work will always kind of look a little bit like muddy after i'm done with my watercolors if y'all have any like 
hints or pointers on how to fix that. I'm still working on my watercolors. Anyway, I think we're coming to the end of our video. Um, doing a quick wash in the background. Always, here's a point, a beginner's tip. Always to a layer of water before you do a background like that. Because then it just makes it look kind of muddy. Anyway, here's my paint, my, the end result. Sorry, I can't talk right now. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you want to see more content. You can find me on Instagram and DeviantArt as well. Um, and please leave a comment down below telling me what your first manga or shoujo was and what your favorite one is today. And if you want to, tell me what your favorite Fruits Basket character is too. Alright, talk to you guys later. See you later. Bye!